Good afternoon. My name is Crystal Robinson and I am here representing five of my children. Three of which are here, two of which are standing on the side. Their ages are 10, 12, 15, 16, and 19. I'm 37 and I am from, we are from Detroit. Um, I had actually written out this story and I will freestyle a little bit. I'll be a little transparent about what our situation has been over the last two years. Two years ago, I was actually wrongfully forced out of public housing. We took a leap and went back to my mom's house and began living with her, which is a three bedroom home she's owned over 20 years. This has happened several times in our life because of situations and things that occur. This is not something we wanted to do. It's something we had to do. Situations occurred at my mom's house where I could not financially help provide for her and to assist my mom with the things she needed to do. So moving forward, we moved on to live in nine locations. Some with family members who were family members of my children, many who were many of my friends who I know personally who personally live in their homes and are homeless within their home. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but I'll help it make sense. You can be homeless in your home, just living in a home, like having a stove, no refrigerator. Sheets, no bed. Toilet, no tub. There are several situations I experienced living in the homes of my friends that to this day, I understand how public housing should operate. I believe public housing should operate under the stance of helping people go into ownership, helping them to know what it's like to own their own, to have a place of comfort, to have a place of peace. This experience itself has not only helped me to see homelessness in another fashion within these last two years, it's also helped my children to see life in another way. There are things that affect our children on the daily. Housing is one of them because they have no stability and there's no structure. So you deal with the consequences of what life gives to you and you try and make it the best thing to deal with, but sometimes it doesn't always end up that way. So you end up taking the bitter with the sweet. And in this situation, I occurred, I um, turned around and I bought a house through the Detroit Land Bank. I can't say that that was a bad experience, but I can't, all say, I can't say that it was a good experience either. We have a home, a beautiful four bedroom home that can't even be fixed up because I have no resources to tap into. I have no way of contacting people who can actually do things. I've reached out to various resources. I won't name any, but I will say that families like mine go through this every day where you just want to accomplish being without being in the streets, being without not having, or to experience the lack of. The lack of is very traumatizing. But I want you to understand that HUD housing can help families. The funding is very needed. Families should be supported and being able to be a part of something that is comfortable, but they also need to know what it's like to also use it as a stepping stone and move forward into having their own. I hope that my small story trickled just a little bit, but I will leave you just this. If you've ever experienced the lack of transportation, you've ever experienced the lack of having anything that you needed, the lack of finances, the lack of having family support, the lack of resources or anything, then you know exactly what it feels like to have a part of homelessness within your household as well. And I hope that through this, things will change. I hope that through this, people will call and make the ask that we continue to support families and that we not cut anything away from what's needed. God bless you all.